At 4.30, neighbors are fed up with campers along a popular biking and walking trail. They say they've seen drug use, fights, and even sex happening right along the Springwater Trail. They reached out to us for help getting that area cleaned up. Jolie Winaga is live near the trail working to talk to officials about these problems. Joel? Jenny and Dan, good afternoon to you guys. I've made several calls to a number of uh, agencies here in the area. I have yet to hear back, but neighbors tell me the homeless problem persists here, and they, of course, want something done about it. Take a look now. Neighbors refer to this stretch of the Springwater Corridor Trail as the homeless highway. No neighbor tells me that uh, she's seen buckets of human waste, trash. She's witnessed fights. She uh, even carries pepper spray when she walks her dog. Now, last week, there was a Portland officer who shot and killed a transient when that transient reportedly came after the officer with a crowbar. Now, neighbors, of course, know there is no easy fix to the growing homeless problem, but again, they want something done about it. I wouldn't walk out there at night anymore. And I used to go out there on it all the time, but not anymore. It's got, yeah, I'm scared. They beat people up all the time uh, and rob people. I mean, it's, it happens constantly, and I'm scared of it anymore. I mean, and I'm not usually afraid of anything. Yeah, that is uh, what a lot of neighbors are telling us this afternoon. Now, within feet of the Springwater Corridor Trail just this morning, an abandoned home caught fire. Uh, squatters were said to be uh, living in here. Neighbors tell me this is the second home to burn within days. They believe uh, the trail had, definitely has a direct correlation to these squatters. Back to a live picture here, here along the trail. I'm told that Clackamas County, they were out here recently helping the homeless, but again, a very complex problem. Police tell us that they will close down a transient camp, and within days, that same camp will pop up just feet away. Reporting live here in Southeast Portland, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Jenny and Dan will send it back to you. Joel